Tech fans, gamers, and gear freaks, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, where we've got all the tech all the time. Today's cool tech is something from the people at Thermaltake. This is their completely mechanical keyboard. It's the Mecha G-Unit illuminated version. That's right, all the keys on this are completely illuminated so you can see them. This thing has cherry black MX keys. It features a thousand hertz polling rate, also features 60 programmable macro keys and their new ISS system. What is the IS system? Well, it's to do with all the stuff inside of it, keeping all the programs running and everything. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but to actually get all the macro keys and everything into a keyboard is very expensive. I just had a meeting at lunch today talking to a guy about making a change on a keyboard, and he was like, oh, it's not a simple thing like that. You're talking about $500,000 to make a change. So very expensive and a lot of technology goes into making these things. I don't even know if these people make their money back. But with that said, let's check Check out this thing and see how cool it looks, especially compared to the previous. All right, folks, so let's start out with the box, like usual. Over here, we can see the TTE Sports label by Thermaltake. A nice picture of the keyboard, their lovely logo, the Mecha G Unit Illuminated. Like I said before, 1000 Hertz polling rate, 60 programmable macro keys, gaming LED backlit keyboard, hence all the lights, and the ISS Instant Shift System. We'll flip it around the back. Not much to the back, it just explains little things right here. So we'll start off right here. You have normal mode, game mode, it's switchable. You also have instant profile switches so that you can create profiles and then hit them on the fly and change them around. You also have available USB ports and audio jacks right on the top of the keyboard. You also have seven media hotkeys. And all of the other keys are actually a little bit different color. Now it's really weird though, is that a lot of times on some of these things, the macro keys themselves, the ones that are designated, won't program different, but all of the other ones will. We'll have to see that as we get in there. Anyway, it's got attachable palm rest, up to 20 macro keys, two fixed and unfixed, two individual white illuminated sections for four levels and pause break lighting design, which probably means we're gonna be able to change the lighting. So for now, let's get into it and let's check it out. Now, usually I like two keyboards. The Cooler Master Trigger and the Mecha G Unit. Those are actually my two favorite keyboards. Now, my son disagrees. He's a Razor kid, but for me, these are it. So here we go, let's pop open the top right here. So moving on to the inside of the box, we can see right here, this is probably going to be all of the drivers and everything. Now the keyboard will probably work when we plug it in, but uh, all the lights and everything might require drivers. So here's this right here. We'll pop this open, try to wreck it too much, but obviously I guess there's no way to open it without getting it since it's stuck. So there we go. So let's pull all this stuff out of here. We've got the warranty policy. Driver's installation CD. Quick manual. All kinds of stuff. Get that out of the way. Get to the heart of the matter. Let's get down in here. Now usually these things have completely separated cables and everything. Let's see if this one is the same. We have a bag right here. It usually has the cable. You can see these are gold plated on each end. I prefer these like this. It actually makes it really easy to hook up and use your keyboard. So let's set that off to the side. Here goes the palm rest. And by the way, guys, this is just the unboxing. I will be doing a full review on this. You guys know how I'll do it. I'll have a video with a link to the full written review. But today, we're just doing the unboxing and showing you guys what comes in it. So there's the palm rest. And then to the heart of the matter, the beast. Get this thing out of its little plastic bag here. All right, folks. So now let me just get this out of the way. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. There's not. But man, the box still weighs a ton. Oh wait, there is more, sorry. There is a keyboard case. So if you wanna take your keyboard on the road or travel, you can use this. Let me get all this stuff out of the way for you folks, bear with me one second. All right, cameraman, can you bang in here and get a little closer? I'm gonna set this thing up folks for you and we can go over it. So I guess we'll go over the back side first. So here's the back of the keyboard. You can see you have two little toggles here for raising your keyboard up. Everything right there. Flip it around. 
see the top so you can see here is where your USB cable plugs in so you're going to be plugging this bad boy right here into this and then this in your system which I'll actually do at the end and show you the illumination two USB ports headphones microphone all on the keyboard flip it around you can see you have all of your stuff like they said before for all your audio and multimedia up here so you can operate your you know your disc or whatever you got inside there you've got more keys over here on the top this thermal take right here is going to light up like we said before it has cherry mx black keys now i don't think i've actually had too many cherry mx black keys in here before and so that should be pretty interesting unless the other one had it which i'm not quite sure of but now we've got that there, let's just go ahead and let me turn my computer on and plug in and at least let you guys see what it looks like lit up, shall we? So I'll plug this little thing in over here, hit the red dawn, and let's see what we got to do here. All right, folks, so let's start over here on the left-hand side of the keyboard. You can see you've got plenty of the macros right here, all nice and lit up. Cruising across, you can see the Thermal Take logo up here on top. It does a pulse type of thing. In the programming, you'll probably be able to change that and modify it, but everything is lit up. You can actually change also how many keys are lit up. You can have just the WASDs, you can have just these. You'll be able to do lots of adjustments inside of that, but I'll get that when I do the review. So anyways, folks, this is it. The new Thermal Take Mecca G-Unit Illuminated Keyboard. I think it looks pretty cool. It's supposed to be coming to a market at about $139. As far as how this thing plays games and everything else, I'll get to that when I do my full review. Like usual, I hope you guys did like this video. If so, hit that like key and show me some love. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.